welcome to Asset Plant Machinery. Today we're going to overview the largest of our hydraulic punch and shears. This is our Multi 125. So it's a 125 ton dual cylinder punch and shear. Main capacity, 25 mil plate. So if you're punching, you're cropping, uh, angle the whole lot, 25 mil plate, the 125 ton punch and shear is your machine. Massive machine like as you can see here, for any serious steel fabricator, factories, bridges, whatever you need, the 125 ton machine is the largest machine that we offer and the one to have. So some of the key features on our Multi 125, we've got a 600 deep throat. So just imagine the huge, uh, the huge plates you can, you can process through this machine here. So 600 throat, 25 mil punching capacity. Uh, we'll run through and do, do a little punch uh, demo later. On the shear station just over here, uh, that'll shear up to 600 wide. So it'll also shear 25 mil plate over a shorter distance. Uh, 150 by 150 angle there, and uh, solids and rounds, and over here we've got the rear um, uh, notching station there as well. So on all of our machines now we've, we've got dual LED lights, so basically one over here in the notching station, one over here in the punching station. We've also incorporated a new LED light just up here as well, which goes over the shearing station. So a lot of feedback from our customers, how to improve machines. We work on implementing those uh, those features. So. Uh, let's run through some uh, uh, some of these operational features. So, turn the machine on and uh, we'll run through the punching station first of all. So we've got a nice big solid bit of plate there. Is plate there? So that's about a 20 mil plate. Uh, your punching bolster comes with uh, two bolsters. We've got a large rear bol uh, bolster for your dies, and also the one we're using at the moment takes our standard Kingsland 9023 dies. Uh, we also have several strippers for these as well. That's just a standard stripper. But we have different stripper inserts uh, depending on what sort of size punch you're punching as well. Obviously, if you're punching smaller holes, you'll need a smaller insert. So um, let's punch a bit of plate. So if you come up here close and sort of see that punch through. Like hot knife to butter. Anyway, that's a very easy hole that's just been punched there. So. Uh, as you can see there, nice and clean. So we'll run through the other side of the machine. Uh, that's the shearing station. Now just watch over here. So basically, this is the shearing station. Having hydraulic plate shearing gives you a much better uh, cut quality. So watch that clamp by itself. So that's clamping down and holding the material as you're shearing that. It also operates your angle line and also your solids as mentioned and just over here ends, uh, we've got your rectangular notching station there as well, so that's uh, coming down there as well. And that does all the 90 degree notching, so around the back of the machine I'll just turn this off. Uh, the other features, we've got a, uh, about a one metre electric touch and cut, so that basically means as the material gets sort of fed through here and here, it hits the sensor, which automatically crops it props the material itself so touch and cut feature a uh, little um, lubrication system of course for uh, lubricating your uh, your main slideways and bearings from the machine and uh, of course on the front punching table there we've got uh, a calibrated length stop system there as well so you can sort of set up your guides and uh, move that back gauge you know back and forth and uh, in and out to sort of suit base plate work and uh, and all that but uh, at asset plant we stock uh, hundreds of punch and dies from 3 mil to 34 mil with slotted squares the whole lot so we've got a huge range of punch and dies x stock ready to ship australia wide so jump on assetplant.com.au and find our range of hydraulic iron workers thanks and have a great day